Hey guys, this is Digimaster, the Digimaster YouTube channel here, bringing you a new action figure review uh, of a n or a not so new action figure. Uh, this is Obi Wan Kenobi. Now, this is the Clone Wars line, as you can see from the Quick C60. Uh, he comes with his uh, clone trooper armor. Uh, very nice looking armor, I have to admit. It has some great battle damage look. Uh, you know, Star Wars figures have these great details built into them. And like, you know, unlike Iron Man, you know, I, I guess Iron Man tried to do it in this series. Or some, some other figures like G.I. Joe. But this figure has some, or the Star Wars figures, I mean, have some great detail. So, for articulation, let's let's take a look, good look at this guy. Uh, take away his lightsaber, we'll talk about that later. His head is on a ball joint. It can rotate 360 degrees, go up and down, side to side, you name it. Uh, his arm is on a ball joint. It can actually go up. It can rotate, go down, up and down on the elbow. And uh, his wrists are rotatable. They swivel. His waist is on a swivel, waist joint. Not not an ab joint where it can go up and down. It's just on a waist joint. Um, his legs can move, you know, side to side. Uh, there is no knee articulation, unfortunately, but the legs are made out of this rubber, so I mean, it's still playable. Uh, I think that's the whole point of this figure, is that I, I think it's more directed towards kids, but collectors have actually gotten their hands on them, and, uh, you know, rather than playing with them, they're just collecting. But, I, you know, I, I, it is a good playable toy, if you do play with your toys. Now, his lightsaber fits r very well in his hand here, let me just show it to you guys. Very, oops. It's kind of fuzzy. Very accurate towards the uh, movies and other, you know, and other references. So, moving on to his other accessories, we got his Clone War helmet. Now, this is a really cool helmet. I actually like it a lot. Here's his jetpack. Uh, I don't like this a lot. If you if you know why, it doesn't even launch properly. I mean, you gotta kind of flick it. Oh, I did it! Wow. Now I gotta go catch it. All right, there you go. Comes with a jetpack thing, which it's kind of bent now, cause I've been flicking on it like that. But yeah, here's his helmet. A little close up on that. Bit fuzzy. He's got a little emblem, I believe, right here. There. So to put on the helmet, what you do? You gotta take off his head. Whoop! Now you all you got. All you got is a ball joint. And you kind of got to jam in this part of the head. It's really hard to do because it's made out of like this very, very tough rubber. So it kind of, you know, it, it's it, it, you know how rubber works. So then uh, that's the uh, helmet. Uh, let's get a good close-up. It looks very nice. Um, a bit of the neck will expose, but it's not much. Here's the backpack. Kind of got to peg it in the back here. There we go. Here he is without the rocket, and here he is. Here's how you put the rocket on. Kind of got. If you see the little hole there, you gotta take the rocket. You gotta fit it right through. And there you go. There's your rocket. Yeah. Huh. Not bad. I actually I like to display the figure like this, but the problem is. Well, who is he? Who is he? Well, is he Jango Fett with a lightsaber? No, he's Obi-Wan. Very nice figure overall. Even there's, there's even detail in this helmet. A lot of battle damage detail that goes with the rest of the figure. Or, before I do the rating, actually, I want to compare the figure. Here's uh, General Gree from the Legacy line. And also, I believe, the 30th Anniversary line. And here we have Iron Man from the Iron Man 2 line. Uh, Iron Man's slightly taller because I believe he's a four-inch figure, and General Gree is the same size. Uh, this is a three and three. These two are three and three-quarter inch figures. Take those two away. So for a rating, I'm gonna give Obi Wan from the Clone Wars line. Uh, I'm gonna give him a four point five out of five because he doesn't have any knee articulation, which is. Eh, you know, but he stands pretty well, so that kind of makes up for it. So, you know, thanks guys, comment, rate, subscribe, uh, 
Please tune in for more videos. This is Digimaster. I'll see you guys later.